Welcome to Obscure. Before we get started to my empathetic people, I just want to say that it is important to protect your energy. So understand that nothing in this video is your situation. Listen, but don't absorb. We're just here to sip some tea. In a recent interview that Monique has done, um, she had explained why exactly her and Oprah Winfrey had ended up falling out. She never said my mother was coming on that show because had Oprah Winfrey said, I'm going to have your mother, I would have said, shut it down. I don't need the world seeing how greedy my mother is. Shut that down. That's one of the reasons why we don't communicate because of my mother and father's greed. And I'm watching my brother who molested me sit on this stage trying to paint this picture of I'm trying to be a help but now I'm watching the scam. So the conflict between Oprah Winfrey and Monique stems all the way back from 2009 after the release of the Precious movie. Um, once the Precious movie was released, they were still friends or whatever. But according to Monique, they had a conversation. They both, you know, described how they were, you know, sexually assaulted or whatever. And then I guess like Monique's brother had ended up contacting Oprah and letting her know like he wants to be on the show. And Oprah had hit up Monique, which Mo no, yeah, Oprah had end had hit up Monique asking her to appear on the show. And she told her that her brother wanted to be on the show, but Monique had declined. And Oprah failed to tell Monique that her mother was going to be on the show. Actually, both of her parents was on the show, but really her mother, I think that's what really ticked her off. And the fact that her brother was acting like he's trying to be some help with like trying to identify predators or something as if he's not a predator. Um, I feel like in a way, Mo I mean, Oprah was definitely wrong. You know what I'm saying? To exploit a friend. You get what I'm saying? Like, um that I mean when it comes to like TV shows like Dr. Phil, Oprah, I mean I feel like that's what they do because like when I watch Dr. Phil, um yeah, I feel like he's trying to help people, but then in the same sense, I just feel like you're exposing people's, you know, business, like family business and stuff like that. And Oprah is no different. You get what I'm saying? But the fact that she actually did that to a friend you get what I'm saying? Like somebody that's supposed to be your friend. And um, even so much as had her mother on a show and stuff. And I'm pretty sure when they were explaining their whatever happened to them when they were younger, I'm pretty sure that Monique had told Oprah, you know, if she had bad feelings towards her mother and stuff like that. So for her to still just go out and you know, get her mother on the show and all that other stuff, you know, it, that's, that's just, that's wrong. That's wrong. And what, um, Monique saying that Oprah had admitted to being sexually assaulted too. I wonder, did she ever had the person that sexually assaulted her on the show? You get what I'm saying? Because me personally, I have been sexually assaulted, but I wouldn't, you know, and I would be furious if somebody that I called a friend have that person on the show, you get what I'm saying? And have anybody on the show that they know that I don't really mess with like that. I would be furious, especially, I mean, cause you're supposed to be my friend. Um, I feel like Oprah's dead wrong. I know Oprah has says in the past that Monique is negative, but I don't see how she's negative. Like, I understand like business is business. You get what I'm saying? In Hollywood, they all about their money. They're all about their business. Like, it's really no friendships in Hollywood. You get what I'm saying? It's really no friendships. Like, money comes before friendship. So... I get where Oprah's mind was when it comes to, like, business-wise, but at the end of the day, like, that's somebody's life. That's somebody's personal issues and stuff like that, and that's supposed to be your friend. That's wrong. So, anyways, Monique also described a conversation that she allegedly had with Oprah Win. I mean, not Oprah Winfrey, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, I said allegedly because I don't know if that was a real conversation or not, but um, this is what she said happened. Let me talk to you for a minute. So when I get Whoopi Goldberg on the flip saying, them little ones coming behind you. You better give a damn about you. 
that crushed me that day in her dressing room because see Whoopi Goldberg told me the salary she makes from The View and that hurt my feelings that you've been there for 10 years and you accept them paying you that and you telling me don't worry about the little one coming up god damn if I ain't gotta be worried about you too because you accept that salary it makes it hard for me and how hard do you think it's gonna make for the one who ain't here yet because you accept that salary first of all this clip just made me want to know how much is Whoopi Goldberg getting paid? How much is she getting paid compared to all the other women that's on The View? How much money is she getting paid? You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure even if I do see the amount of money that Whoopi Goldberg is getting paid, I'm pretty sure it is more money than I've ever seen. <laughs> But I still want to know how much money it is that she's getting paid. A lot of people, you know, when it comes to like stuff like this with celebs, when they're fussing about money and stuff, a lot of us be like, oh, that's rich people problems. That's rich people problems. And honestly, it is because <laughs> when it comes to that Netflix thing, I would have took that money. But see, that's from talking to like me. But I'm pretty sure like if I was... If I've been in Hollywood and I got like this very long career and stuff, maybe I wouldn't have took the money, you know, but that's not my tax bracket. So it's just like I'm a, I'm more, you know, humble when it comes to receiving money. But um, yeah, I would like to know how much money Whoopi Goldberg is getting paid because I'm in, I'm interested in knowing that. Um, one thing I'm going to say about this, because I know like everybody is painting Monique to be out like this crazy lady. She's delusional. Um, they're saying like she's hard to deal with and stuff like that, you, you know, cause Steve Harvey, um, I think, no, it was Tyler Perry that said she was hard to deal with. A lot of people said that she's hard to deal with and even Oprah called her a negative person. But one thing I'm going to tell you about that black sheep, that black sheep is going to tell the truth. And everybody that sit there and they point their finger at that black sheep and they be like, oh, she's negative. She's crazy. She's talking out her neck and stuff like that. They know she's telling the truth. But they're too busy trying to act like everything is peachy cream. And, you know, like they're on a now I'm not going to say they're on a high horse, but like their life is just perfect. And nothing, none of that is going on. None of that is going on. You know what I'm saying? Like Monique is just being bitter and stuff. Nine times out of 10, that black sheep is telling the truth. So that one, that alone makes me kind of believe Monique more and be on her side more. But I just wish that it was a different way she says it. You get what I'm saying? Because like telling Oprah Winfrey to S suck your D and all this other stuff. I mean, that is uncalled for. So that kind of will help people see you as being like hard to deal with and stuff like that. But did she, do she have um, good reasons to be upset? Hell yeah, she got good reasons to be upset. Cause for number one, if something had happened to you, if a family member has done something to you and your so-called friend bought them on the show, including parent, your parents that you don't even mess with like that, you don't talk to them for whatever reason. And the person that did that thing to you is on the show acting like he wants to be a hero and help people. I, that would make you upset too. You would feel betrayed. You get what I'm saying? So we can't just be like, oh, Monique needs to be quiet just because she's talking about Oprah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know Oprah is mad rich. She's mad famous, mad popular and stuff like that. But then at the end of the day, you got to look at a situation for what it is. You get what I'm saying? These two were supposed to be friends and it's almost like a betrayal. And I know like in Hollywood, business is business, like I said before, but darn like... Come on now, where's the loyalty at? You get what I'm saying? Where's the loyalty? Because at the end of the day, you had to have known how this would make this woman feel. And when it comes to this whole Whoopi Goldberg situation, if Whoopi Goldberg wants to take that amount of money that the view is giving her, that's her business. You get what I'm saying? Like, I get what Monique is saying about like, um, she wants to, you know, she's fighting for the younger girls, but this makes her want to fight for Whoopi Goldberg because after being on The View for 10 years, she's still getting the um, amount of salary that she's getting. That's Whoopi Goldberg business. You know what I'm saying? Whoopi Goldberg still get more money than me. <laughs> That's her business. Like, if she wants to get paid less, let her get paid less. I mean, 
that's her business. I get where Monique is coming from and that's nice that she wants to look out for the newcomers that's coming in because we, you know you would want things to be equal. I mean, even in regular jobs, things pay is not equal. I mean, white men get paid first, then white women get paid um, the second highest, then Chinese men, Chinese women, then um, black men, black women. His, you know, it goes on. Nowhere, you you know, is equal pay. You get what I'm saying? And that's something that we all have to work on getting fixed because I feel like no matter what race you are, what sex you are, you should still be getting equal pay. I mean, why... If, if all these women are on the view and they're all talking about the same thing, how come this one is getting paid less just because of how she looks? That's kind of crazy. You get what I'm saying? Especially since o Whippy Goldberg is like the only one that I know that's on the view. I don't know the other ones. You get what I'm saying? No, I take that back. I do know the one that was on Roseanne. But, I mean, other than that, I don't know them. Like, the only one that I really pay attention to whenever I do watch the show is Whippy Goldberg. You get what I'm saying? And my thing is this, like, if we're going to fight for this to be a thing in the entertainment industry, then we need to fight for this to be a thing everywhere. Because, like I said, this kind of thing is everywhere. You get what I'm saying? Like, people get paid more than other people, and no matter what job title. And it's not fair. So we can't just fight for, you know what I'm saying, just the entertainment business alone. Like, we need to fight, period. Everybody needs to get equal pay. Because that's... That's crazy that people are not getting the same pay just because of how they look or their gender. That's freaking crazy. You get what I'm saying? But my thing is this. If Whippy Goldberg look at her check and she's like, ooh, that look good. I'm about to cash out. Then, hey, let her cash out. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's what she pay her bills with. If she love it, then, you know, hey, that's her, you know? Anyways, y'all, let me know what y'all think about um, Monique's comments about Oprah Winfrey and um, Whoopi Goldberg. Do you feel like, you know, Monique kind of talks a little bit too much and it's a certain way you say it? Or are you more like, you know, hey, she held it in for long enough. It's time to say it. And what she did, she did hold, especially at Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, not that I the Oprah Winfrey situation, she did hold that in for a long time. You get what I'm saying? She did. And like she said, um, cause she was saying like, she wished that she would have told her how she felt, but she was so starstruck at the fact that it was Oprah Winfrey that she didn't tell her how she felt, you know? And, um, yeah, like she held it in for a long time. It's time for it to come out. And you know what? Then again, when I think about situations I've been in when like I hold stuff in because I'm I'm a type of person where something can be said to me or something can be done to me and I will hold it in forever. Hold it in until it drives me nuts. And now I'm angry. You get what I'm saying? I'm angry and I'm lashing out. But if I would have just said something from jump, I wouldn't be feeling this way. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like that's kind of what Monique is going through. Like she's just lashing out because she's been holding it in for so long. And the fact that um, Oprah hasn't really apologized to her, like sincerely. I think when Oprah did apologize, she was more so like, if I did offend you, I'm sorry. What do you mean if? You know you did. <laughs> you know you offended me. Just apologize. You get what I'm saying? But that's Oprah's pride in a way. You know, like, if I did offend you. Kind of like when Kodak Black said that thing about Lauren London. And he was like, well, if I did, you know, I'm sorry. One of those. You get what I'm saying? So, Monique didn't want to accept that apology. So, I feel like that's probably why she's still, you know, talking about it or whatever like that. But, girl, you got to let that hurt go. I feel like... Whippy, I mean, Lord, I'm getting these ladies' names mixed up. When it comes to Monique, she got to let that hurt go. Like, what Mo what Oprah did was messed up. You get what I'm saying? It was very messed up. But it being on your heart is just messing you up. You get what I'm saying? Like, let it go. And I'm not saying it like, oh, forget about it. I'm saying heal, you know? It, it was messed up, but it's time to heal from it. So you don't have to keep being angry about it. You get what I'm saying? It's not more so for them. It's more so for you. So you can move on. 
And so when you do interviews, none of this is being brought up. Now, I don't know if they asked her about this or whatever. They probably asked her about it, honestly. Who, I don't know. I didn't watch the whole interview. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like she needs to heal with a lot of stuff. I don't feel like she's healed yet. But look at me. I didn't ask y'all for advice, and I'm still talking, y'all. Lord have mercy. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments about this whole situation when it comes to Monique and when it comes to Oprah and let me know what y'all think about Whippy Goldberg how much do y'all think she's getting paid for Oprah to be in tears you know what I'm saying to be in tears talking about Whippy Goldberg's check let me know what y'all think down below y'all peace <laughs>